Hi all, Keith Damari here. I'm going to be playing some Arik and the Ruined Kingdom. So, I've already played some and uh, it looks like... Let's see, how do I... I go and delete my data <laughs> so I can restart from the beginning. But first, I'm going to bring down the sound a little bit. There are mouse and keyboard controls and gamepad controls, but I'm going to use the mouse and keyboard because I uh, I tried both, and definitely mouse and keyboard is preferable for this game where possible. Now, if it is... <coughs> oh, my throat! Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> if it is... Um... If, if this is, uh, you know, put on different platforms, like let's say the Switch or PS5 or what have you, Xbox, uh, it would be definitely comfortable enough to play with, uh, with a controller, but keyboard and mouse is just my preference for this one, definitely. Let's go back to number one. This is the Forgotten Keep. I'm going to just reopen it. I like that we can go and check out prior levels. It's a nice thing. Ooh. Click on the path to get up. So we click right here. I'm so bored. I need to get out of this castle. I wonder where Dad went. He's been gone for ages. Take a walk around so we can go... <coughs> Sorry, my throat is crazy today. <clears throat> we can go anywhere and... Uh... <laughs> oh, this looks like Dad's old crown. Gosh, I... that would have been a good Baba Yaga from Rekka witch voice just now. <laughs> but why would he leave it? Unless he wanted me to take it. Spin the crown to discover new paths. There we go. So there are little hidden things to get. I don't know if we can get anything special in this level, but I'll show you in other levels. See, I'm gonna spin around, go over here. Monument Valley is probably what I'm most reminded of with this experience. We can also use Q and E to spin around. Use the mouse and keyboard. Mouse or keyboard is actually more like it. Uh, so the way that this works is that we want to position the perspective to change to you know, allow us to reach the, the exit. So I'm going to go all the way here. It's where I am spinning to. Spinning. A lot of spinning, actually, with the, <laughs> with the mouse controls. So here we are. I like the music. It's so, so peaceful and... I don't know, it reminds me of forests, even though there are no forests uh, outside of, I mean, ones that we can traverse, there's there's lots of forests, but, <laughs> but none that are all that easy to get to yet. Let's go this way. This game also reminds me of Paper Trail a bit. I, um, I liked Paper Trail, even though I struggled a little with it when it comes to difficulty. Ooh, check it out. I have already made it to the exit. Now, some other things, though, is that... Oh, okay, so I will explain it later. Uh, it turns out that this game saves your progress when it comes to collectibles. So there were collectibles strewn throughout these levels, one at a time, actually, one per level. And since I already picked them up, they do not show up again. I was kind of looking around for them, just in case they would show up again, but yeah. Just kind of getting back into the, the vibe of playing this. So, we are... See this strange creature up here in this cage? This poor, poor creature. I don't know what happened to it. I'm gonna go up here. Perhaps I should have fed you more. So, yeah, he, like, abandons some creature. I don't know what that is. Is that, like, a ladybug? A jumbo ladybug with eyes. No, I have no idea what it is, actually. I'm gonna go here and put that there and go here. And then we're gonna spin, spin. We're going to go over to this switch. And we're going to go here. And then we're going to wait for it to bring us back up and we will be at the exit. This is a game that has uh, minimal explanations on like what to do next. But I don't know, it's, it's pretty easy enough to guesstimate what our next actions are going to be. So, let me just make sure I don't miss anything. Hmm, how do we get to that exit, right? We have to... Let's try going up here first. I've already forgotten a couple of ways of doing things. I'm gonna move the perspective here. Ooh! Right here. Sometimes it's uh, possible to accidentally happen upon like what needs to be done, which is kind of a cool, cool thing, I think. 
So we can see, oh, like this, and then all the way this way. Then we're gonna take, can we take that down? Cannot. How do we do this then? Hmm. It's funny since I technically already cleared this map and now I'm <laughs> guessing again how to do it. Uh, yay, okay, so now he's decided that he will clear it. Now we're gonna go straight to the exit. I haven't played too many games like this on this channel. I mean, Paper Trail is the main one that comes to mind. Mm. Ooh. I like the look of this right here. Little tick ticking. I don't know about that tick ticking though. I ran into some weirdness with this level, but I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna be too, too much tick ticking. So where should I move this? Is it moving? I feel like it should be moving soon, but I'm, I don't know if it's going to move now. I mean, I'm standing on it and I wonder- oh, okay. So it's just tick ticking. Slowly. Slowly. Alright, we're gonna wait, I guess, until we reach the end point here. Just tick tick it. Oop. Huh. What is the perspective to make this work? Also, we can pull the camera out quite far. This is very Monument Valley-esque like that, but we can also pull it towards us to make it bigger like that. So, um, you know, I feel like I should move here maybe. Mm. And also how far away we are affects how things look too. So it doesn't look like it was Hmm. Now, is there a way we can... Maybe we should go this way. We should try to... Go this way. Ah! Uh, go there. No! I'm trying to... Get a better idea of like... Where am I going and how am I going? So, a little bit of a closing thought section here. This is a different day if I sound different. Uh, so, Eric and the Gold Kingdom. I mean, Gold Kingdom. Bruin Kingdom. Um... Let me see. I think I already might have gone through this a little, that there are these different levels. You have to go in the levels in order. And I didn't quite clear the mill yet, though I might return to it in the future and try to see if I can. I just, I wanted to get an idea of, okay, we have all these different environments and this is how long the game is. Look at that tundra. What's up with tundra? Two levels in tundra. So it looks like it's going to be, you know, a decent enough length to it. I like the whole idea of Monument Valley meets a sort of mid medieval, medieval vibe. I like when I first saw the title of this game and first saw some visuals, I was like, is this an RPG? And it does have that kind of feeling of like a mid medieval setting, an RPG like setting. But of course, the gameplay is all puzzle, all kind of um, about moving your character in the right places, in the right locations. And yeah, I, I think that this is definitely a game that, you know, is kind of a brain teaser that has its own sort of significant rules in which to follow. I like the whole thing of having uh, collectibles. Well, there's one type of collectible, really. The collectible having to do with the um, the crowns. Let's see, let's go back to the first area here. I like that I can go back to any of the levels I want to and go pick up the crowns that I miss and it'll just auto save that. And to jump back into the first level for a second. The controls are very, they're very cohesive and they're very good. I've been using a mouse and keyboard because I just think it makes more sense. I like the aesthetic too. This is just a title that, uh, you know, has very simple, the classic visuals. Uh, being able to move things around and see the little hidden tidbits is nice. And changing this perspective and stuff like that is a sort of, um, is uh, a genre that I haven't seen too often. I know Paper Trail did it. And I remember Rhyme, R-I-M-E, doing that. I quite liked Rhyme, by the way. It's another one I should play on the channel sometime. I think I got about halfway through that one. But anyway, this has been uh, Eric or Arik. Kind of want to say Arik. You can check out the link in the description if you're interested. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Bye.